Okay. While we were in the room, I was showing some graphic videos by fellow classmates of mine that were being sent around. It wasn't pretty. Uh -huh. And there were some really bad things going around. And I, I can't believe that students videotape this and send them to each other. You know, if you take a video of somebody being shot and show it to the police, I think that's heroic. I think that's brave. Take a video of somebody being shot and send it to all your friends, I think that's sick. And there's a, there was a lot of that going around, there's you're saying? a lot saying. of that going around. Videos of teachers and pools of blood and so it wasn't pretty. Did, did you have friends that were uh, I did. injured? Or, I, uh, I did. And as little as I'd like to say any of their names, they were all good people. They were all kind. And I know this is easy to say. I know that you hear this every time, but they were some of the best of us. And one thing I wanted to ask you is about how do you feel about what, what can be done to prevent this gun control? I mean, what, what are your feelings about this issue? The GOP has created a facade that this is normal and this is inevitable and we have to just take it every time and, and understand that it's bad but do nothing. And people are starting to realize that that's, that's not true. People are coming together and realizing that we can come together in the polls, vote those people out, find out who's getting paid by the NRA to make our laws and get rid of them make more regulations. A 19-year-old who was very mentally unstable was able to legally buy an AR-15, which is a weapon of war. You don't need an AR-15 to protect your house from burglars. That was never intended to be used by civilians. That is for soldiers. Uh, young people like you have said this before, after these type of incidents, nothing's been done. Do you have any hope that something will be done this time? I am absolutely certain that we're gonna get the results we want from this. I've never seen this, I've never seen this in any school shooting. And mind you, that's not a good thing. And I'm not trying to put a positive spin on the fact that our town just took 17 bullets to the heart. But this is gonna be, I've never seen this many people come out and support. I've never seen this many people stop sending thoughts and prayers and start saying we're going to show people in the midterm elections. It's enough, and people are knowing it's enough, and a bunch of other Broward students and I have created a Facebook page called Never Again MSD. And I encourage everybody to go check it out. It's a community, it's a center for what we're going to do to stop this, and I have absolutely not a shred of doubt that this is not, that we're going to get, this is going to work. Just, is there one specific thing that you think should be done? Is it banning assault rifles? Is it what, it, it, well, assault rifles, yes, but there's a misconception that Democrats are trying to rip the guns out of everybody's hands, and at the end of the day, that's not true. I do understand how somebody might want to carry a handgun, because they might not feel safe, but a mentally unstable 19-year-old was able to legally buy an AR-15. I don't think AR-15s or anything larger than a pistol should be on sale. He was able to buy an AR-15. And if he had been through the least bit of screening, if a single person spoke to him for more than five minutes, I guarantee you they would have said, this person should not be allowed to get a gun. And I think we need more of that. And I am shocked that we don't have more of that.